Hey guys, I hope you're all doing good today. So I hope you're excited about today's video. I have yet another liquid lipstick set and I have reviewed a few, but this one in particular has a lot of very interesting shades. This one is the Kat Von D Everlasting Matte Liquid Lipsticks and you can see just, just by looking at them right there that there are a lot of interesting, very fallish shades, which is what really made me want to try these out. And before I get into any of the details of what I think about each shade, I'm just going to go ahead and just show you the swatches first so that way you can see them on my lips. Okay, so the first one is Ludwig, and this one is the nudist shade that you're going to get in here. I actually already have this shade from another lipstick set that I got from Sephora. This one is the nudist shade that you're going to get. It's like my perfect nude. Oh man, I swatched it wrong. Okay, so I swatched it wrong. You couldn't even see it on me. So let me just swatch it like this. There we go. Okay, but you can see the you can see the color right there. So this one is the nudist that you're gonna get the most nude I should say Whichever way um, either way it goes really good with my skin tone. This one is called Ludwig Ludwig. Yeah, I think I said Ludwig Ludwig earlier. It's Ludwig and this one's a very very nice one It does apply very smoothly on the lips The difference that I noticed between Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks and other ones is that these are very thin in the formula The next one is also a light shade, but this one actually this one's called Lovecraft This one is more on the pink side and I feel like a lot of these lipsticks are good for many skin tone shades so that one is the pink one and compared to the other one you can see the difference between them this one's a very very pinkish shade and this one is just a neutral nude shade and then the next one is actually my favorite. This is the one that I'm wearing right now. And it just so happened that it matches my nails. It's like a lighter tone than my nails. It's not the first time this happens. In another lipstick set video, I had a, I had a lipstick that matched my nails too. Except my nails were a little lighter. So this one is called Sanctuary. And this one's the one that I'm wearing right now on my lips. So this one's a very cool tone brown. Very, very cool tone. I love the look. It's not too dark, but it's not nude. It's like the perfect mid-tone not too dark not too light but the perfect fall shade for me that's very wearable still but this one's the one that i'm wearing you can see compared to the other ones okay i'm trying to fix the swatches because you can't see them because they're going they're going lopsided on me okay so here are the three swatches you can see that this one i'm already starting to get dark on the shades and then after that we just get a little deeper from there like if i'm looking for a dark fall shade this one and the one that i'm about to show you these two shades are in the middle it's not like too light and it's not too dark for me so it's like the perfect i would say it's like the perfect fall shade for me i really like the way it combined with today's look i feel like it went really well with the crease shade that i have and it's just like a good fall shade for me this one is my favorite out of the entire line and then the next one is also one of my favorites so it's this one and the other one but that one is like number one and this one is the second favorite of mine this one is called hand wine that's not what it's called this one's called hawk wind so this one's the opposite of the other one it's still like a mid-tone shade but it's a warm shade so th this one's not too dark but not too light it's like another perfect fall shade for me which is why these two are my favorite and also because the formula is perfect and i'm going to tell you which ones of the darker ones are just like 
not even, especially on the first application, like you have to work with it and you have to keep going over it. Now on, on the mirror, I couldn't tell that they were uneven, but as soon as I would look at the camera like a little bit further away and on the viewfinder, I could see a little bit of spottiness. So I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But these two right here are my favorite two shades from the kit. But they're not super like intense, deep colors. These are really light and then we jump to a little bit darker tones, which in my opinion, these two shades are like the perfect shades for me. This next one is a darker tone. This one's a darker shade of this one, I feel. It's like the same color, just like a shade or two lighter. Let me show you. Let me show you because you're going to be able to see that they're they're pretty similar i'm light to medium so i feel like these two work really well with me so maybe someone with a little bit deeper skin tone than mine you'd probably be perfect with these two over here or maybe even this one and the one coming after so you see how right here it's like one shade darker than this one and then this next one is a violet it's like a dark violet shade this one i did have trouble with it because while i'm applying it i can see like where it's like kind of streaky it's a very very thin formula i feel like this one out of all of them is the thinnest formula for some reason it's just a little bit different and you can see the streakiness on my lips and then when it dries i could see it again so i could see it on camera i could see it in the mirror it was just very noticeable so i have to wait for it to dry and then apply another layer so this one I just had to work with it a little bit more and I could tell that it's a little thinner because whenever I was getting on the edge of my lip I wasn't wearing any lipstick I mean any lip liner because I didn't want it to like change the lipstick in any way I wanted to show you just how they look alone um, I applied it on the edge of my lips and it kind of bled just a little bit so that's how I could tell that this one's a little bit different like a little bit um, it's a little bit thinner than the other one I keep getting higher and higher. These are going to be huge swatches and really hard to come off. Okay, let's twist my arm there. Okay, there you can see. I'm trying to make these swatches so you can see them and I keep making them like lopsided okay so there you can see it now this one looks a little thin too because they all are they are all pretty thin when you apply it on your lips it's a little bit different but this one in particular for some reason it's really thin and you can really see the streakiness on your lips okay this this second to last one this one's called damned and this one's a very dark dark shade like now we're getting like super 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 intense and this one's also a thin formula and it's a little bit streaky but not as much as the violet one there's something something with that formula that made it that way but here is but here's the way that it compares to the one next to it it's a lot darker it's like a dark dark bloody red i was trying to think of like how to describe it and to me it's like it's not a blood red it's like like when a vampire first bites it's that first blood that comes out, you know? It's not like thinned out yet. It's really, really dark and red. I could just imagine how a vampire bite looks and that's what I imagine first coming out, you know? Just a very dark red, bloody red shade. So that's my description of it. This last one is called Witches. This one is so nice. So there's something about this formula that's different with these i'm telling you because this one is even and i'm really happy about that because it's black you know you don't want black streakiness going on on your lips i was really happy i was like please this is the darkest shade please don't be streaky on me you know because i don't own do i own a black lipstick i think i own one black metallic but a black matte i was really excited about having a black one for some reason so this one is black like there is no other way to describe it it is a black shade so there we go. These swatches are huge, right? I mean, you can't complain about my swatches. They're really big. You can't say you can't see them. There you can see the comparison in all the colors. And I love how this lipstick set is different from other ones that I've tried out. Other lipstick sets that I've tried this year, I mean, you always get a red or like some sort of red. Either it's really bright. Whoops. Let's turn this off. It's tart start telling me to buy their concealer for their birthday um so you either get a very bright red or some sort of red in the lipstick sets and then you always get a nude the nude's always in there so you do get a nude in here but i mean i'm just saying like as a whole you usually get like a red you get a burgundy you get a nude and i don't know just colors like that this one gives you like bam you know very 
in colors. Here you go. This is the kit that you need. You get the nude, so you get the option of still having a nude tone. In case, you know, you can't find a lipstick to go with your eyeshadow, like if you're wearing something colorful or something. And then you also get the nude pink option, which works a lot. Like sometimes nude is too pale that you want a little bit of color, so the pink one is perfect. But all the other ones after that, I mean, look at how unique those are compared to other lipstick sets that I've reviewed or like to other lipstick sets out there that I have not reviewed. I mean, these are just very unique, very different shades. Now, with that being said, you do get a black. So not a lot of people wear black lipstick or like the idea of like how it looks on them because maybe you've never tried it, but you don't think that you would like it or wear it a lot. Like me, I don't think I would wear it out or even I think I might I would wear black lipstick like why not right but I would wear all of these but either way like overall they're all very different in my opinion the formula is different from other ones that I've tried but they're very very long lasting and they're very comfortable and I always do the smile tests because I do not like to see my lip shade in between the wrinkles I am okay with having my wrinkles on my lips. I'm okay. That's perfectly normal and natural. So don't be a, don't be afraid of using a liquid lipstick because you can see them. They're there. It's perfectly normal. I like how they look. I don't care. I like the lipstick shade. That's what matters to me. I just don't want to see my skin in between. You know what I mean? So I always go like this. And if I can see the little lines, I'm not very happy with it. Even though if the shade is pretty, it will still make me be like, mm, I'll just get another one. You know what I mean? Especially with the black. You would not want the black to show your skin in between the little lines. It just wouldn't look cute. But those are my thoughts on these lipsticks. Like I said, they're very different, very unique. But to me, it was perfectly worth it to try out the kit because I know these type of shades can seem a little bit intimidating but once you try them it's like oh you know it gives you a whole different look rather than just pink rather than just nude or I don't know a an orangey nude or something like that these are just very unique very different I feel like I'm gonna be wearing these a lot especially these two the one the one this one and the one after that I showed you my favorite my favorite so i hope it was helpful me trying to describe each shade and tell you what i think about like the formula and how it feels um i let me know below if you like these shades if you find them to be like your style because i know it can be a little bit intimidating but trust me once you try it you might change your mind so that's pretty much it for today's video I think I covered everything I wanted to say. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that way you don't miss out on future videos. And if this is your first time here, well, welcome. My name is Angelica and I upload seven days a week on YouTube so you will have a video waiting for you every single day. So that is it for today's video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.